demon. Because the baby was a demon. Okay, explain. It started with this because true baby got true and Sheba got the same kind of eyes. So he ain't really sure if Jahumi could be his baby because he's brown like him. But he there it is. Repeat that again. It started with True having a baby by Sheba, and True and Sheba got the same shaped eyes. So Jaumi got eyes that could be from Sheba or from True. They kind of basically got the same shaped eyes if you look at them. And because mm -hmm. of this, that's the reason why True thinks it's his baby, and the tribe thinks that. But because he's brown like him, then it's a possibility that if we took a DNA test, the Ja could be my baby, right? So when this shit happened with Zoka, she wasn't supposed to get pregnant, especially after Eferu wasn't supposed to get pregnant two times. Yeah, so to be so, of all that, you know how he thinks, yeah, her baby was conceived in Babylon. Her baby is a demon. Okay. So baby Jaumi, whose baby whose baby do they think baby who do they think baby Jaumi belongs to? Well, I don't know. I can't say what Sheba can uh, would say because Sheba ain't never had the freedom to talk to me freely. But I could tell you that nature boy mm -hmm. thing that if it ever came a time to take a motherfucking paternity test, he ain't ruled out that that would be his motherfucking uh, baby just because the color. Wow. Of his skin. You watched Maury before. Come the fuck on. Right. You know? Okay. So what about um? So Zoka's baby, was there a chance that Zoka's baby was Nature Boy's baby as well? I don't think so. Because um Velvet was there. And um and that's really when Solar first got a first first got the chance to actually be polygamous. And I think that baby was uh intentional intentional or from Solar. But you know they so dumb and they so ratchet how they get okay. down. That it's a possibility. He was they was both fucking her at the same time. Who the fuck am I to say? Okay. So we get from the first month, second month, third month, fourth month, and up to the days leading to the birth of the baby, what took place in the tribe? I told you said something about the instruments. I, oh, they was ordering the birthing equipment, and this is when Elway was telling me, she wasn't telling me, but the way she was talking and the way she was gifting him and not coming up on his panel was making me feel like Elway didn't really want to go over there and uh, deliver the baby because if Elway did not want to be more than a virtual member, she would have went over there. And that's Correct. what I was so this is how seven came in. Where that? Hold on, hold on. This ain't nothing but some organic deodorant for this little bitch who acting like she fundamentally a fucking doula, bitch. And yo, I ball. Cause where did you come in at? Uh, at least Elway Grim Reaper ass then delivered babies, then uh buried bodies and did autopsies. She knows how the anatomy and how babies come out. And now you got a uh, seven who lived by 711 coming in doing a doula. Do you really think you can learn anything on the fucking internet, bitch? You think you about to go pull my tooth out and you a dentist from the internet, bitch? No, you not. Get out of my face with your degree. I kick you in your face. What? That's seven. You a murderer, seven. You know what they didn't get? And I'm going to tell it. I don't give a fuck who here. They didn't have, know how to to clip that cord and that baby just bled out for no fucking reason, for no reason. what anyway that's why i call her the grim reaper and that's why we fell out i threatened elway i threatened her i threatened her i threatened her i threatened her until she made nature boy call me and say uh you need to erase elway's uh phone no
Okay, so I okay, so can you take us through Tribe Zulu? Mute yourself really quick. Mute yourself really quick. We're gonna get into you first. We're gonna get into you next. But let me finish this out. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um pop down please. Black Lotus, drop down, baby. Let me lock this box because they, I don't know. Uh -uh. This is what we're not doing today. Hold on, you guys. That box should have been locked. It, I locked it and it unlocked. Give me the key. I'm going to stick it in. Okay, I got it. Oh, Lord. Okay, so can you please walk us through the birth of baby love? Walk us through what you know of baby. Walk us through from the time she went to labor to what happened, to who got the call, to who was over the phone, guidance seven, all that. Can you please walk us through that? There wasn't nobody on the phone. Elway did not guide them. Elway was MIA, not to incriminate herself with that shit. Once you seen a seven touchdown, from that point on, when that bitch stepped off that plane, that was in her hands. Yeah, so you, you, Elway, you a part of it. You can speak, but uh, seven, you too, because you only learned it on the internet. So really, you wasn't qualified. None of y'all knew what to do. None, of, none of y'all, and because of guilt, what, what y'all, what y'all gonna do with a baby that didn't bled out? Okay, so it's, can you walk us through what you know? What, what did Nature Boy explain to you? Like what happened? Did he say she went to labor and the baby was breached or what? Like, can we get she, some? She didn't, she didn't even know that she was in labor because they was doing the video all that day. She didn't even know she was in labor. You got to think that she's a little kid and they fucking idiots. So just wasn't... having stomach pains and doing the video out on the beach and waking up early and all that, that wasn't even no distress call, you know, to them, even right. though she's ready to pop. Stupid. Right. Okay. So I have something to say. B, I, I don't never even deal with the comments while I am um, interviewing, but because it's such a touchy su subject, I'm sorry, because this is upsetting me. Anything to do with babies and passing away, it upsets me. Um, it takes a while to burn a body. Please Google that before you open your mouth and, and you know, say things of that nature. There was they no baby's fire. In they telling you about his fixation with the Orisha, with Mama Wati, with the water with the orisha okay. in the water. He almost killed Malia hiking her down that trail. That the the, the baby's not in fire. The baby is in water. Come on, boys and girls. Put your fucking thinking caps on. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck would I be in Puerto Rico? Ain't this an island? Okay. So the baby, there was no they did not burn the baby's body. Okay, so let's start there. I need her so a different story Fifi. though. So like, they, Solar told me that they planted the uh, some grass in those red Dixie cups that Aya had on the porch, and they went up there, up on by the top of the 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 uh the the most sacred. He said the most celestial part of the trail, and they buried the baby there, and they put those fucking grass on top of the dirt so it wouldn't look like it was an empty space there. That's what Solar told me. Completely different story. And this ain't the kind of shit where you can snitch on Solar and ask Nature Boy or even not even trust what Solar is saying because even before they announced it, when people kept was threatening the uh, words the baby at Solar, me and Solar had already started talking about it. Because, you know, we talk in rhythms and what he was telling me was the baby was already transitioned. And so from talking to Elway and then how scared uh, Nature Boy was, it, it I really believe oh, wow. that the baby was water at the time. I did. And I feel guilty. I feel like I knew something that I shouldn't know. But that's kind of how it is being around him, p people that's in a cult, you know. Because you guys had a bond at this point in time. Okay, so basically what you're telling us, let me sum it all up because it's it, to me it's a little scattered and I want to sum it up. Um, basically what you're telling us is that um, the baby was, she went to labor, the baby was born. Um, while the baby was born, um, they didn't have the proper tools to to. to to tie the umbilical cord or cut the umbilical cord. The baby bled out, passed away, and they took the baby. Did they wrap the baby up in anything? Fast. Real fast. Like when okay. this happens, this happened real fast. Like 
20 people, 10 people, nine people running around no. on Google trying to uh ask Google, ask Siri, ask some motherfucking body because Elway MIA, seven over there pissing on herself in a fucking corner like a dog. And she what? was over work. And but I say, even though you believed her though, yo, you could have had one of the smartest people in the world right here with you get a certificate online. You you didn't think that when Sheba baby wouldn't come. You didn't let motherfucking uh somebody fly in when uh and this is what I'm telling him. I said even brother polite second wife baby brother polite thought he was the smartest man in the world uh Baba G and his baby died right in New York City. Right where you was son and that's how I talked to him. He was like he did yes Girl, I never had another baby after that. It's probably. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you think any of that is on those hard drives? Do you think they recorded any of it? What would what, what? Why wouldn't he record that? Why wouldn't he record the first birth? Did did you see the fucking Lotus of Little Migo? He he said put Migo on camera. So you think Love wasn't about to go on camera? He recorded it. That's what I thought. Okay, so um, the baby was not sacrificed in that way. It, the baby was born. The, there was nothing wrong with the baby when the baby came out. But because they didn't know how to properly tie the umbilical cord and cut it, because they didn't have the proper tools, the baby bled out. So the baby died. Yes, accidentally. And so when the baby died, they wrapped the baby up. They planted, I don't know, when did they have time to plant the seeds in Dixie Cups if the baby died and they had to hurry up and bury it? Look at the, look at the motherfucking, this is what Solar told me. Don't debunk his story. Oh. Don't debunk his story. Okay, don't I'm not debunking it, I'm asking a question. No, when somebody tell you something like that, you don't pull the pieces out. When Baba G get to asking you about Mama Wati, you get to learning about the Orisha of the water. And you get to telling them about uh, rituals. That's what you do. You be useful and okay. have information so you can stay in the loop. Okay. Sorry. I feel you. I feel you. Hold on, hold on a minute. And hold on, Daniel. What, excuse me. Go ahead, Daniel. You have a question? Yeah, my devices went crazy a second ago, and I didn't hear like shit that y'all said. If I it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay. All right. So, so they buried the baby up there on the most celestial part of the mountain. And how soon after did they leave Puerto Rico? Because I noticed Baba G left Puerto Rico like boom. Wait, no, wait a minute. Really, they did not leave Puerto Rico until Aya kept getting in trouble by the police, and that was just recently. They didn't leave Puerto Rico because of love. Love wasn't no, you know, love. It wasn't I'm talking. No reason. Mm. That's, why I don't, that's why I don't believe Solar. Solar didn't lie to my face. Solar didn't lie to my. He lied to the to the the, the dude's face up there because you thought that nigga was playing. You thought that nigga wanted to do that shit Nature Boy do. That nigga said, "Put your whole hand in there." Solar said, "Oh, uh -uh, I ain't never did that before." Who you call Solar? Okay. Who you call? Who you call Solar? Yeah, I wasn't even that far away. Who you call Solar? Okay. I couldn't even do it. Okay. Okay. So, back to what we were talking about. Okay. So the baby. So then. None of them were scared that the police may come to look or anything. They were okay with burying the baby on the mountain. I think the baby went to the water. I think the the mountain is the last solar told. I think the baby oh, you think the mountain is a what? So you think they put the baby in the water and let let it float away? I think. Oh they my god! And maybe didn't maybe tie something to him so where he just wouldn't flow away easily. You know, like in a ritual, he, he, like, like yeah. when I studied Mama YT at the time, it was saying take stuff to the water in baskets, stuff that she likes, stuff that would be offerings to the gods. I remember you know, that. Tobacco, maybe some gin, maybe some uh uh banana peels maybe something you want to put in here for love maybe this is this is the so when after they did this you know to him it's over with so then y'all seeing her come on like the program like yeah this what happened bam 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 you like wait wait a minute they seem like this yeah it was a ritual and when the ritual is over it's done it's a wrap mm.
Zoka. However, it is what it is. When I am being guided by spirit to say or do whatever I must. Zoka, I'm being told to tell you to speak up, to speak out. I know you might be scared. I know you might feel like you don't got no support. I know you might even feel like what you're doing is the right thing because you've been brainwashed to believe that Alihio is the Messiah of the black African-American people. I remember we, was ha we had a meeting one day and you was crying. And I just was like, oh my God, baby, what's wrong? Why are you crying? And you said to me, I'm just so happy. I'm just so grateful to be able to walk with the Messiah. And in that moment, I had gratitude too, because I once believed that Alihio Bishop was the Messiah of the Black African American people because of who, because of how he portrayed himself. But once you begin to know thyself, know who you are. Can't nobody tell you who you are. And when you learn to discern, you, sh you see straight through other people for who they are. Zoka, you know I love you. You know I would never do anything to harm you. And you know how I get down. When I'm being told to do something, I have to do it. When I'm being guided to do something, I have to do it, you know. This is for your good. This is for your best. Come on up out of there, Zoka. You are not of this world, baby. You are just in it. Spirit says, it's time for you to speak up. They've already showed me. They've already told me. Sis, I didn't even know that you had had the baby. I, I, I didn't know none of that. I didn't know. Someone told me on random. And, 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 and I, I, I cried so hard. I cried like a baby because I'm just like, wait, what? What happened? Her baby... Her baby was a, a, a stillborn, a what? Mm-mm. Mm. Make that shit make sense to me. Kazoka baby, for months, your spirit was calling me. For months. I'm telling the people that's close to me. I feel Zoka. I miss Zoka. Something's going on with Zoka. I don't know, but something's not right with Zoka. I miss Zoka. I'm getting a ring in my ear. Your spirit was calling on me. And I know why now. You feel trapped. You feel stuck. You making up stories in your head to help you cope with what you're going through. Baby. Zoka, as your sister, I am here to tell you that what is going on in carbonation is not okay. Your baby Your baby cries out to me, Zoka. Your baby cries to me. Your baby has told me that she is not at rest. She is not at peace. And she won't be until there is justice for what happened to her. No one can get away. Y'all cannot get away 
with what y'all did. And I know what you did. Because Spirit showed me. They told me. They made me sit there and listen to what happened to that baby. They showed me. They told me. And then they made me go investigate y'all. Because baby, let me tell you. When I left Carbonation, I was not watching y'all videos. Matter of fact, I believe Alihio blocked me. But even with that, even in that. I had no, no, I had no desire, no energy to watch y'all because of everything that I had endured while I was there. I had to take the time to heal. I had to take the time to recover. And I wasn't even the one that was physically abused. However, I was verbally and mentally abused, you know. It's just as bad. Baby, Soka. The things that were done to you while you were there is not okay, mama. Just because he tell you it's okay is not okay. You did not sacrifice your lower self whenever y'all did what y'all did to that baby. That was not sacrificing your lower self. And I am sorry that he made you believe that. A part of me wish when you said you wanted to go home when we was in jail in Hawaii, that you would have did it. And baby, I knew, because I know you. I knew you meant that shit. But you tried to play it off because you ain't want to get in trouble. I all trying to dig in people's ass. I know you ain't want to get in trouble. So that's why you said, oh, I was just playing. You know I know you wasn't playing? That's why I looked at you and said, you serious? You mean what you say. You, you try to act like you didn't mean what you said. You try to play it off. You try to play mind games, but you can't play mind games with me, baby. I've been where you are. We a lot alike, mama. Spirit said, it's time for you to speak up. You have to speak up. I know you feel me, Zoka, because I feel you. You have to speak up. Your baby deserves to be at peace. And she is not. She's not. She cries out to me. And she started talking to me. I know you, so. You don't want to be there no more. You're just doing what you think you have to do. And baby, there is folks who really do love you, who really do care about you, who do want the best for you. You are strong, mama. You are a goddess. You are a queen. Take your power back. Take your power back, Zoka. Take your power back, Zoka. You are not weak. You matter.
You matter. What you going through matter. You have not healed, Zoka. I can only imagine, God, the thoughts that go through your mind. Zoka, Spirit says it's time because judgment is here. Speak up now. Speak up now. Take your power back, Zoka. Take your power back, Zoka. They thought they took it away from you. Take it back. They can't have it. It doesn't belong to them. You do what you need to do. You do what you need to do, Zoka. You do what we came here to do. We came here to heal humanity. We came here to save humanity. You do what you need to do, baby. You are being told to do it. I know some way, somehow, I know some way, somehow, I know some way, somehow, this video is going to reach you. I know some way, somehow, this video is going to reach you. Come up out of there, baby. We are not of this world. Mm -mm. We ain't a part of this. We just in it. You came here. To do the work of God. No matter what happened while you was there at Carbonation. You came here to do the work of God. And justice will be served. Judgment is here. I love you.